Alright, welcome back to this uh, part 6 yeah, of chapter 5. Alright, so uh, this is how you solve this. Yeah? So we find the present value by taking the future value here, $150,000 divided by 1 plus R raised to the power of 17. Yeah, you can also do it this way, 150000 multiplied by 1 plus 8% raised to the power of negative 17. Yeah? You get the same answer. There should be a dollar sign here. Yeah? 40000 uh, $540.34. Yeah? Now, what does that tell you? It tells you that you need to have this much money now. Okay, this is present value. Uh, so that you can invest this amount now for 17 years at 8% interest yeah, in order to get $150,000 at the end of 17 years, which can be used for uh, paying for the doctor's uh, college education. Yeah? So that is the answer. All right, yeah? so you can uh, uh, solve it using uh, the table. Okay? The present value interest factor table. So you take 150,000 just like here. Okay, this is what you want after 17 years. Therefore, you take present value here. You take the value from table A2 at the end of your textbook. Okay, uh, look at the column of 8% and then look at the row 17. Yeah? So you'll get this value 0 0.2703. You multiply, you get 40,545. Yeah? Note the difference. Yeah? There is a difference here. Uh, the difference uh, with present value table is likely to be greater yeah? because of this rounding error. Yeah? Okay, Because it's rounded to four decimal points, okay? you find that the answer is very different. Yeah? Not very different, but rather different. Yeah? Therefore, it is always best to use the formula rather than the table. The table you can use that as a means to check your answer yeah? or means of checking. Now, a better method of checking would be to use the present value that you've got here, 40,000. Uh, <laughs> let me get the pointer here. You've got 40,540.34, right? This you multiply with 1 plus 8% raised to the power of 17, you should get 150,000. If you get that answer, then this answer, this answer here is correct. Okay, so that is one means of testing. Yeah? It's always good practice to test your answer. Alright, now we express this in terms of a timeline. Yeah? Note this yeah? present value. Yeah? Now, the known element here, one known element is the term, 17-year yeah? term or 17, 17 periods times of earning interest yeah, that is known and you know the future value okay this is hundred and fifty thousand dollars and this is a positive you know this yeah, because it's a cash receipt or inflow yeah, after 17 years you want to receive from your investment yeah. of course you use this to pay for the college education of your daughter yeah. but from the investment in terms of the investment this is a cash inflow yeah. so there must be a matching, yeah? matching in uh, inverted commas or in quotation marks. Yeah? There must be a cash outflow here yeah? earlier. Right. And the other known element is the interest rate, 8% yeah? interest. We call this the discount rate. Yeah? In this context, we call the interest rate the discount rate. Why is that? Because we discount yeah? this 150000 that we need uh, in 17 years, yeah? uh, 17 years from now, we discount or we remove the interest yeah, that you earn 8% from your principal. You remove from this until you get the value, the present value yeah, at time zero. So the unknown element is the present value, okay? the value of the deposit to be made now. Yeah? Now note this, yeah? we discount this to present value. That's why the arrow is like this. Yeah? Therefore, we actually we discount. Yeah? It means the interest is removed. Yeah? Note this. Yeah? The arrow moves from here to here. Yeah? Discount one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, and so on until 17 times. Yeah? So interest is discounted or removed 
17 times from this principal value, okay, principal at the end of 17 years. Yeah, this is the balance here. Yeah? Okay, you remove this interest until you get the present value. That is why we call this discounting. Yeah? Now, this uh, is the formula. We have shown this formula. So the present value here is $40,540.34. Okay, so you can turn this the other way around, eh? meaning you have this much now, the present value, and you invest this at 8% for 17 years, you would get 150000 at the end of 17 years. Okay, so that is uh, simply present value, yeah? So present value is like the inverted yeah? future value problem, alright? Okay, so let's continue. <coughs> Okay, and we can also show this uh, using financial calculator and spreadsheet. Yeah? And in these two, you need to note the sign convention. Yeah, let's look at the spreadsheet first. Let's go to the spreadsheet. Okay, let me just drag this slightly so that you can see the full view here. Yeah? Right? So we focus on this column yeah? this column here. Okay. Um, Right, let me focus on this column here. All right, this is that example. So, what are the known three elements? 8% interest is known. All right, the time 17 years, 17 periods. Okay, this is 8% per period, this is 17 periods or 17 years. And you know the future value. Yeah? These three elements are known. Yeah, this is the unknown element, but I'm sorry, this is the known element, but there is no payment. Yeah, payment. We put that as zero. Yeah. Now, how do you solve using spreadsheet? Yeah? Use this function equal to present value because we want to solve for present value. You put PV, then open bracket. Okay, you click here, you will know the first here. You arrange the items, the elements yeah, in this order as specified by spreadsheet yeah, by Excel. The first one is always the rate here yeah, when we want to determine the present value. You don't have to memorize this, okay, because you won't be tested on this, yeah? but you will, it is important to know. Okay, so how do you know this? Okay, you just click, you put equal to present value, open bracket, and you click here, this uh, instruction, yeah, this indication, yeah, or this, uh, what do you call, uh, clues, yeah, will come up. Okay, so the first one is rate, it states rate, yeah, so you specify either you can type in the value 8% or 0 0.08 or you can click on the cell, yeah? you can specify the cell in which you have the rate, yeah, I've done the later, okay, so I3, yeah, it has the interest rate which is 8%, then I5 next is the number of periods, okay, so this is 70. Okay, you can either type 17 or you can type i5 here yeah, because i5 has that value. Then we go on to the next one is the payment which is 0. Payment is an element that we will learn in the next chapter, yeah, chapter 6. All right. Then the next element is uh, future value. Okay, Future value is 150,000. Note that this is positive. Yeah? We put that as positive. The sign convention is important. Yeah? Then the last element is the type here. Uh, type here refers to whether the cash flow occurs at the beginning of the period or at the end of the period. And the default is always the end. So we put that as zero. Yeah? If it is beginning, then you have to put this as one. Yeah? But this uh, beginning or end, uh, we will consider this in the next chapter, chapter six, yeah? not in this chapter. All right, therefore, once you've done that, we close the bracket and then we click on this yes and then you get this value here. Yeah? Note that this is negative here. Yeah? Negative indicates that you must deposit this much. Yeah? Because this is positive, this must be negative. Alright, so the answer is the same, forty thousand five hundred forty dollars and thirty four cents. Yeah. So this is how you use uh, the spreadsheet to solve this problem. Yeah? Now the same problem can also be solved using uh, the financial calculator yeah now note this yeah this you, you go to financial calculator this application you can either use this on the computer 
okay or you can use it on your handphone yeah and using the application in the computer you can download this financialcalculator.com yeah so you can choose time value of money calculator here okay which is this okay make sure that the mode is end this is by default yeah? it's end present value okay this is what you want to solve so leave that blank there's no payment therefore you put that as zero okay future value is hundred and fifty thousand yeah hundred and fifty thousand okay annual rate is eight percent just put eight there no percentage because this is already stated in percentage yeah don't write this as zero point zero eight okay it must be eight percent yeah and the period you just put that as 17 because it's 17 years the compounding here is done yearly yeah? for chapter 5 okay, all the compounding is annual yeah? in chapter 6 we will consider other types of compounding yeah? alright so annual so once you've done that then you want to solve for the present value you just click on this present value and you get this value here 40,000 note the negative here and yeah? this is negative it means deposit yeah you must pay now so that you receive this much later this is positive if this is negative then this will be positive yeah as i've explained in the previous clip so here it is negative that means you must deposit forty thousand five hundred and forty dollars and thirty four cents now okay and you invest this at eight percent for 17 years then you'll get hundred and fifty thousand dollars yeah, at the end of 17 years is that okay so this is how you solve using the financial calculator yeah of course, it's not the financial calculator. It's an application yeah, of the financial calculator. The financial calculator will also have the same keys. Yeah? So you can use that in the same manner. Okay, right. Let's go back to the slides. Okay, let me just drag this back to the original position. Right, let's continue. Okay, another example here, yeah? your parents set up a trust fund for you 10 years ago, yeah? that means it is in the past 10 years ago, that is now worth $19,671.51. If the fund earns 7% per year, how much did your parents invest? Alright, yeah? note the wording is slightly different, but Okay, it seems like it is in the past. Yeah, how much did your parents invest? Okay, it's in the past, but is it present value or future value? Yeah, look at the information given. Always in a simple time value of money problem, identify the three known elements and the fourth unknown element. Now, the first one known element is this: ten years ago. Yeah? this is the term. N is ten years ago. Now it is worth. Now may mean, mean present yeah, in uh, in a normal context, but in this context, now here means future value. Why? Because the question is, how much did your parents invest when this was ten years ago? Yeah? So that is the present value. Therefore, this must be future value, even though this is now. Yeah? Right. Therefore, it is nineteen thousand six hundred. Uh, six hundred seventy-one dollars and fifty-one cents. Now this is the future value. Okay? Know that in future value, future in relation to yeah? the question here, yeah? because the question has to do with uh, an earlier yeah? uh, what they call a deposit made by the parents. Okay, therefore this is uh, future value, and the third known element is the interest rate. Okay, this is known here. How much do your parents invest? This will be your present value. Yeah? So this is known, N is known, future value is known, the interest is known, the unknown is the present value. Yeah? Right. So you use the same formula, $19,671.51, divided by or multiplied by, eh, depending on the uh, power here so here it is multiplied therefore this must be negative yeah? 1 plus 7 all this raised to power of negative 10 yeah? therefore you get this value 10,000 okay so if you invest 10,000 now at 7% per year for 10 years you will get this much yeah? so that's